welcome and new moon blessings to you for this beautiful monday we are getting into a crystal mandala oracle message for you and seeing what crystal comes forward as well as affirmation for this beautiful new moon monday we're also going to be tapping into the moonology manifestation cards because you know the new moon is all about manifestation. We're also going to be tapping into the good karma tarot to see what's coming forward for this beautiful new moon Monday. These are general readings which may or may not resonate with you, but if they do, thank you so much for your support by hitting the like button. We have a five of swords and nine of cups energy coming out today. Perhaps uh, figuring out that maybe... We didn't get exactly what we had wished for or hoped for or things aren't quite as happy as we once thought they were in paradise at one point. Now there seems to be a storm brewing. I don't know what's going on here, Collective. Are you having some rumblings going on, some disagreements, arguments perhaps with that Five of Wands and Five of Swords energy? Somebody lying to you, feeding you a line of BS? All right, guys, if you need a personal reading, don't forget to reach out at venusianways.org. It can definitely help you figure out exactly what's going on for you. We're going to be tapping into our inner F and peace message cards. Silence your inner critic may be important for you to do today, especially if you've been going through something difficult, dealing with someone difficult, right? All right, and so we're also going to get some love advice from the Lover's Oracle cards. And hey, if you have a question, let's get an answer to it. I've got a divination coin that I'll flip at the end of our reading. So get your question ready. Let's do it, shall we? Blessings to the angels, ancestors, way showers, guides. Give us the crystal and message we must need for this new moon and this new week. Thank you. Blessings to everyone out there, and thank you so much for all of your support to the channel. I truly appreciate all of your likes, comments, shares, and donations. Do let me know in the comments how these readings are resonating with you. I always love interacting with you guys. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to, so you don't miss any readings I put out. All right, let us see what is going on here for this Crystal Magic Monday message. What do we need to know? Which crystal is going to be most beneficial for us for this day, for this week? Show us what we need to know, please. Wow, these cards are being a little weird. Show us what we need to know, please. There's like all kinds of stuff going on with these cards right now. Do I need to shuffle them a little more? What do we need to know? There we go. We got the ammonite. That is a very powerful energy because this is going to bring up past energy, past life energy from world, sorry, from word to world. Goddess Saraswati, Saraswati. Interesting, because that's the flower of life energy as well. All right, I forget what that symbol is called, but it's the flower of life. But we also have the lotus in the middle, the ammonite, but making peace. Acceptance on the bottom, pink calcite. So this could be energy that is important for you to work with, accepting the way things are at this point. Higher will, understanding the bigger picture, you know, the bigger purpose for what's happening perhaps at this time. 20 coming with a blue sapphire star. So if you have any of these crystals, they would be really good to work with. Um, anybody out there have an ammonite where you have one half and your partner has the other? That's typically how you would share these. You know, you would give half to someone that's close to you. And it's like a connection that you have by having both halves. You know what I mean? Let's read this energy today and see what it has to say for us, though. It's definitely healing on all levels because you can see all colors of the rainbow there. That's all of the chakras, right? So healing all timelines, 40 
come into a four would be also like healing in the heart, healing in the home kind of energy as well. So the energy of this card, Goddess Saraswati, Ammonite, from word to world. We bring you the empowerment of word to world. What you speak of with intention, you shall manifest. You are blessed with the creative power of an open and activated throat chakra. Wow. And last week, Aquamarine and Authentic Voice came out. So be careful what you speak because whatever you speak manifests. That's what from word to world means. You are very powerful right now in your manifestation. So remember the higher will, you know, when you... Uh, Think about what it is that you want to manifest I'm hearing because if you are um, understanding this knowledge you're likely coming from a higher level of understanding so accept that all right and also be mindful of how you wield your power if you will so as you release subconscious fear of speaking your truth Memories of being silenced and claim your true divine voice. Your ability to change your world through your intention is amplified. You have the power of divine creation through sound in you. Divine creation came out yesterday in Kanam that came out with the energy of Cobra and Kundalini awakening. So you may be really tapping into all of this energy right now. What you wish to create and experience, speak of with joy. So that is a, a, a key for you, a secret. Make sure that you do it with joy and do this, say this three times with joy. My words of love create light in my life. My words of love create light in my life. My words of love create light in my life. By the power of three, a perfect trinity. It is done. That's it. You are really coming into your power at this time. Again, it's going to be very important for you to use your power wisely. Understand it for what it is. And also, you know, what you can create and manifest in this world and how that can really help to serve a higher purpose, if you will, right? So be aware of that, you know, don't be selfish, I was hearing, with what you are learning. You know, accept who you are, know who you are, but that's where we keep silent as well. We know the power that we have and that we can wield, right? But we don't need to be flashy about it, per se, right? <clears throat> All right, let's see what the new moon energies are bringing out with this powerful manifestation that you most likely are tapping into, especially if you're listening to this reading. So hit the like button so you can claim it. You are a powerful manifester. You can claim that down in the comment section as well. I am a powerful manifester. What I speak manifests into this world. So let's see what's coming out from the Moonology Manifestation cards for you and for us today, because I accept this. I definitely am going to be speaking with joy and accepting everything that's coming into my world. Unleash your kindest self. Yeah, I said with love, right? Um, with, with love, I bring light into my life. So Capricorn energy coming out here today, beautiful. But that is that bridge once again, rainbow bridge. We've got that rainbow energy in the Ammonite here, right? All right, so what else is coming out for us today for the new moon energies? Messages from spirit, please. Powerful manifesting energy. We do that through our heart space. That is the most powerful energy to use for manifestation. Our mind only helps us to create those more um, powerfully, you know, by 
coming up with that aha and then allowing our heart to really get you know connected with it as well and emotionally involved with it know that you are loved libra energy so balance that all out just like we were talking about in the heart space it's like really tapping into that power within you what else Our last card out today is make time for self-love. That is always important. I took a beautiful salt bath earlier. That is always wonderful to do on new moons. More Libra energy coming out here today. So definitely get your salt bath underway. Release all those negative energies. Focus on the positive on the bottom. So very important with that Sagittarius energy keep your focus on what's important aim high i heard clear your mind pisces energy coming out here today sorry gemini energy um but all about getting balanced all right clearing your mind is going to be very important so you can make the right choices and decisions moving forward because you want to make sure that you manifest exactly what it is that you want right well, you got to be clear-headed so that then you can make sure that whatever it is that you're creating is going to be from that highest space of love. Everything will get balanced out, don't you worry. <laughs> Justice is coming out to assure that today. That's Libra energy as well. <laughs> We also have Page of Cups energy coming out here today. Definitely somebody could be, you know, trying to make you an offer, trying to work their magic on you, perhaps. Oh, yes, with that Ace of Wands energy coming out here today. I feel like you're seeing through all of this, though. You know, <laughs> be careful, too. I was hearing what you wish for, like, as far as, you know, physical attributes. <laughs> You might get more than you bargained for. Lover's energy and Five of Swords energy. You know what I mean? Maybe passionate, but is it healthy for you with that apple? <laughs> All right, let's see what is going on with this energy today. On the bottom, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> so definitely, you know, finances may feel like they're off quite a bit at this time. Maybe that is what you're working on, trying to get in touch with your intuition. You may feel like that is off at this time. Um, and because it's not as connected as it needs to be, you may not be aware that the things that you're speaking are creating circumstances that you're not so favorable of. We need to walk away from that, and perhaps you are working on that at this time. Understanding perhaps that a little bit of self-sabotage type of energy is going on here. Unknowingly, of course, potentially. Six of coins in reverse in the past. Definitely reciprocity going on here. Again, I just feel like with this word to world, and I just saw 1313, it's all about being aware of your speech, being aware of, you know, your intentions, you know? And are you doing so from that place of joy like it was speaking of and wanting you to speak of 1331 <laughs> in your own speech, you know what I mean? So you can not continue to leave yourself out in the cold when all you got to do is go inside, all right? Yeah, you're never out in the cold. You have the ability to allow spirit to help guide you and move you into that place where you really are going to be happy and fruitful, you know what I mean? Something has to come down though, you know something has to change and it's going to change one way or the other is what this looks like, if you really want to. And maybe you are speaking this again unknowingly, you are bringing that tower down in whatever situation that you currently may find yourself in. Four of Wands, absolutely. All around the home is what this is all about. Maybe there's something that you just really have not been happy about for some time around the home. Around your partner, perhaps, because uh, Four of Wands usually indicates an 11-11 energy from word to world. 
Maybe this person has left you out in the cold and maybe you're just tired of it. That's really what I'm seeing here. Tired of fighting, no more. That's hopes, wishes, and fears that you're not going to end up in any more situations where you are dealing with people, where you have to watch your back, where you have to hold back, you know. I feel like you're in a situation that you definitely need to get out of that has to change. You know what I mean? Six of Wands energy, I do feel like you are going to get that solution. And it looks like there are going to be some friends perhaps that help you to figure this out. Because you may not have a lot of money right now to work with is what I'm seeing. <laughs> Page of Wands for sure. You're figuring out that way to get out of whatever this situation is. Um, and I do feel like it could be a situation uh, on the home front for sure. You know, you're about to just bust that foundation wide open. You know, maybe you've been talking about how unhappy you are with this situation. Well, you know what? I I'm going to tell you a funny story. I was working, well, we were in report at work. I told you I work in surgery, right? So I found out what I was doing for the day. And uh, the nurse I was working with, you know, we have this snarky relationship. He's snarky, and I just kind of play back with him. But anyway, he's like, he comes up to the uh, charge nurse, and he says, uh, I'm sorry, but can I have another scrub tech? And that's me, you know, the surgical tech. But anyway, and uh, it was so hilarious because not even just a moment later, the educator sat down beside me and she's like, Hey, uh, do you mind if we switch rooms with you? Because uh, this girl really needs to do these cases and she's really more comfortable with that. Is that okay with you? And I was just laughing so hard and I went up to the guy and I was like, Hey, you got your wish. I uh, am not in your room any longer. You got a new scrub tag. So that was hilarious. Anyway, so it can happen that quick, guys. Seriously. Tower can come down that quick. All right, so let's see. Interrupt in peace. What is the advice moving forward with this situation? Chop wood, carry vodka. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard that one before. This says, cheers to enjoying life. And then it says, you, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> so maybe a little vodka isn't, you know, a bad idea. Help you to just chill out a little bit. You know what I mean? And have a beautiful day. <laughs> this says, cultivate inner booty. You can do this, you know. It may take a little work, but you'll get there. Chop wood, you know, do some work, and then go chill out a little bit. You deserve that, all right? This also says, the power of serenity now. Pencil it into your schedule. You have to make sure you make time for that self-love that this was talking about, right? Take care of yourself. And you're going to know that you're loved whenever you make that time for yourself. You're going to feel that peacefulness inside, right? And this is going to be that time for you to just really unleash your kindest self to yourself. That's what I really feel with this energy with Capricorn. That's what's gonna help you to get regrounded back into yourself, right? So that what you're speaking is gonna be kinder and you are gonna see more positive manifestations happening in all areas of your life, right? So chop wood, carry vodka, very good. All right, let's do this. Oh. For love. Did you see that? That was so amazing how that happened. Anyway, this energy says, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Aww. This could be a child that you've lost. This could also be a loved romantic partner that you have lost usually that's what this uh i see this as somebody in spirit but in any case 1919 whoever you may be separated from nothing ever really separates us all right that energy when things were good and whatnot are always there you can always tap into that right what else do we need to know around love advice please
Love advice. What do we need to know? Any other messages? Well, that one went on the ground, but we'll get it. Okay. So, a message for you. I am thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Ooh, and that was talking about this light. Your love is the light of your life. You know what I mean? Everything is in those memories. Nothing can ever take away what you've ever shared with someone, right? But it could be time for you to surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. This is really a time of trust for you and really trusting in what it is that you want. What do you want your world to really look like at this point? And live in that joy, all right? Get back into that energy of loving your life. Only you can create that beautiful life. That's for any of us, right? But do be aware of how you are manifesting that. You are someone much higher than most people. Accept that and know that, all right? And allow those things to come down around you that need to, right? Have the energy to hold back from things that don't, that don't value you, that don't show you that they value you. You know what I mean? You guys ready to get an answer to your question? I've got it for you right here in three, two, one. And here's the answer for your question. It is yes. Oh yeah, baby. I love it. I hope that was the answer that you needed. Thank you so much for being here. I pray that these messages serve you well. Hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification, and don't forget to let me know down in the comments how these messages have resonated with you today. You guys stay amazing, and I will see you tomorrow for our totems, spirit, animal messages. Bye for now.